Hi, Susan. This is Andrea Schultz. I thought it might be a little bit easier if I showed you what would be an easy way to do it. The first thing, this is one of the cards I just picked out. Most kids know what pizza is. And I'm assuming your son knows what the uh, different cards are. So the first thing you want to do is ask, what is this? And if you can respond pizza, that's fantastic. Then you know you can work with that specific card. So then you're going to say, after you say, what is this? And he answers pizza, you'll say, is this a pizza? Yes. Is this a pizza? And did you notice I prompted with a yes sound? Because you want him to fin complete that and say yes. So, what is this? Pizza? What is this? Pizza? Is this a pizza? Yes. Is this a pizza? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you're going to do that for four days in a row. Right now, we're just working on trying to make sure, teach him how to say yes and no for different cards. The, so on, once he gets it correct four days in a row, then you're going to move on and you won't be prompting him. What is this? Pizza, he'll answer. And you'll say, is this a pizza? And you wait three seconds. If he doesn't answer, then you say, yes. Is this a pizza? Yes. Then you go on to something else. So you want to do this three times a day, which would be great. So if your speech therapist is working with him, you can also work at home too. And it may be better if you are doing it along with your speech therapist. The more often you do it, the better it is. Now, so he's able to do answer the question yes with a three-second delay. So the next time we're going to ask him, we're still using the pizza. We're going to stick with the pizza till he can say yes or no. And you'll say, what is this? And he'll say, pizza. And then you can look at him and say, is this a dog? No. Is this a dog? No. And you hear that N sound? We're prompting with the no. And he'll say no, and you'll say, great job, fantastic. Then we'll put it away, and you'll do a little bit more work. You'll pull out that card again and say, what is this? He'll say pizza. And you'll go, is this a dog? And you'll again respond, no. Is this a dog? No. And hopefully he'll say no. So you're going to work up maybe on just one card for a while, a week or two. Hopefully it'll be less, but you want to do it four times in a row with yes answers for each of those things. And then we'll add a different card. We need him to get the concept of yes and no to questions. Because a lot of times what children do is they'll answer the first one. If you'll say, is this a dog? Yes or no? They'll say yes because it was the first thing you asked. Or if you say, is this a cat? No. No or yes, they'll say no. So just be aware of that when you're asking questions. A lot of times they either do the first or the last consistently. So we don't want to do that. Uh, I hope this makes sense. Look at it and see if you think it makes some sense. Thank you. Bye.